day 34 of the Josh Lipton vlog experiment. This week, Bike Shop Hub, we're getting on track. I'm going to be working with a designer two days, learning how to de implement design in the new site. I'm learning just Uno for deploying newsletter signups and Clavio for managing our newsletters, our email news, our emails, flows, and newsletters. I'm working on local basket, and we're about to. I'm also deploying the newsletter and the email, the email newsletter flows there as well, using that as my test bed. And I am probably going to be finishing up and launching Local Basket next week, but there may be a, maybe I'll do a little bit of work on that this week. Finally, I'm working with some developers in the Philippines to do some little fixes to Local Basket and getting them into the Git flow. So using Git to get them to branch off the project and merge their changes back into mine. So yeah, getting into the thick of it. And Bike Shop Hub, I'm also going to be sizing things up. I'm going to be bringing together um, a list of all the requirements I need to go live with it. And I'm starting to boil those requirements down. I'm starting to see the vision for new features and not needing old features so we're getting close we're getting close to all these projects getting launched perhaps they'll all get launched around the same time also hubcrowd is getting i'm getting in the flow with that so um so uh, interesting times i'm i'm pushing hard i'm kind of feeling i feel these spurts where i think i'm there and then i realize i have more to do to finish but these things are going to come live soon, soon enough, and then even after they're live, each project has to be pushed ahead. Um, I was inspired today by a Tim Ferriss episode where he was talking with, um, actually it was a Tim Ferriss questionnaire for Seth Godin, and the thing that I liked that Seth Godin really taught, that Seth Godin focused on a lot was um, about being great for even a small audience and finding your business through the small audience. And it got me thinking back along my lines and of what I do and what I do really is this juncture of e-commerce and cycling. And it's an in interesting juncture because it's not that simple. It's not, some people do simple things and they can be great at them. I think Seth Godin, I don't know if he thinks what he does is simple and maybe he, it's not, but um, there are definitely like things that are more straightforward about how you focus your time and your energy and doing e-commerce focused on cycling. It's kind of this uh, interesting combination of skills and I think it's been tough to get really good at it because of the kind of variety of skills that I've had to go master and bring together. And, um, but I think that that is my path and even local baskets appropriate as part of that. So anyways, I'm feeling good about seeing that direction, seeing that flow. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today. This has been day 34 of the Josh Lipton blog experiment. You will see me tomorrow.